fiddle here? Yeah, I think that's what we should do. Um, go, to the, go to the fiddle music. And, uh, maybe, yeah, we might mention, and we may mention this a couple of times, that Billy is in the midst of a project. Oh, yes. The, uh, of, of putting, of recording 500 <coughs> fiddle tunes. Um, and so far he's got the first hundred done. Hopefully I can, you can see this in the camera. He's got the first hundred tunes done. It's on a three CD set. And he's working on the next uh, 400 tunes. Yeah. And uh, I, I, is there going to be, there's going to be a book with this? Oh, there is. is when it's all finished, there'll be a book of the, the sheet music, those versions exactly. And, Expanded biography of, of me and pictures, and uh, but it'll have all the sheet music to all the fiddle tunes. Right. And uh, so this is an ongoing project. Uh, well, we're looking at 2010 right now. We have it finished up. Yeah. So this could this is a while. Uh, 500 tunes. I'm pretty sure I know that many, and I know more than that, I think. But so I decided I should really find out. So that's what that's, that's why I started the project too. See how many I really do know. <laughs> so anyway, but you can check into my website and find out progress, what's going on. Right. And that's banjobilly.net. And um, it might even be on the screen at some point. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, and I will say I have listened to this and the fiddling on it's very clean. Each note is very clear. Oh, that's and nice. And concise and uh, <coughs> it's at a speed where, where it's not too fast. So if, uh, you know, accomplished fiddle player can probably pick them up pretty oh, easily. Pretty, pretty yeah. easy. Yeah, um, yeah the, the whole idea of the thing is to, uh, of the recordings is to just have reasonable renditions that aren't really very fancy and they're just consistent and not very fast so anybody should be able to listen to it long enough or just play right along with it. Right. So it's, a, it's an archival thing so we want to at least save these all for posterity and then, you know, people can just say, oh, there's a whole collection of 500 tunes I'm recording. I could learn how to do this. So. And then from looking at the tunes, I mean, it looks like some of them are, are uh, they come from all over the country. Some of them are, are probably Eastern tunes, some are Midwestern tunes, some are Ozark tunes. And yeah, they, they, Wherever you've been, I guess, you've kind pretty of Pretty much, up I, tunes. I've traveled a lot. Um, basically, well, basically it's from the Rockies to the East Coast. And so whatever I happen to collect in that area is what I play, and when I'm hearing tunes or I'm at a place with other people who are playing, there's a lot of tunes that go by and I say, no, I'm not interested, but then there'll be one, and I'll go after that one, yeah, yeah. and so that's, it's, it, I've just kind of developed my own taste of what I like, and sometimes I'll, I'll hear one that says, oh, that's just like that one that I know, but I'm not going to bother with that one, because I already know something like that, right. so I'm always in search of the new obscure tune. <laughs> Besides the normal ones that most people play. So you got one there for us? Yes, I do, I think. So what did I, what did I have? I haven't made notes, so I might be able to remember which ones to play. Um, <coughs> oh, we were talking about early, early things, the minstrel, minstrel style banjo playing. Well, at that same time, there was a lot of fiddle tunes being played, mostly on the East Coast, because that's where civilization was, but uh, all of it, well I'd say most all of it, um, has influenced European roots. Scott, Irish, um, there's Norwegians, basically all of Europe. And uh, so there's a lot of different influences on these types of tunes, but some of the, some of the early ones um, come from actually a repertoire of what was played on the Lewis and Clark expedition. And they had two fiddlers, and that's what they had for entertainment. So they took them along just for the entertainment purposes, or did they? No, they, they had also to accomplished. Too. Yeah, <laughs> they had to row and right. carry canoes and everything else. They were else accomplished too. boatmen also, but uh, <laughs> since they had fiddles, they made a comp you know, made made room for them to keep those things because that was the entertainment they had. It was work all day, all the way until it's time to eat and start the fire. And then what do we do? Well, we gotta have a little fun. So the fiddles would come out and everybody dance around. And anyway, but that's how you get your, your, you know, your relief from, from the stresses, from the labor, from long, arduous hours of laboring. Anyway, so these tunes go back that far. I have a few, a couple examples of 
older style tuners. Let's see, the first one. Okay, here's one. What's this? Uh, the old Virginia jig. So this is something that that would go back. Oh, that would go back to 1840s, 1850s anyway, because it became more popular as we moved toward uh, through the 19th century. It became more popular all the time with people finding banjos and fiddles and trying to remember what their father had showed them or their grandfather. So um, there's a lot of tunes. But these are some early ones. The old Virginia jig, it goes. Oops. I don't think this one's right. There. Okay. The old Virginia jig. Virginia jig. And that was played on the Lewis and Clark expedition. You think? Uh, I think this one would be would have been uh, probably a little more modern than more modern than, than 1804. This would probably be the 1830s or so. But um, there's a lot of history in these tunes, and that's that's what you know interests me so much about the tunes is they are they're actually the musical stories of America uh, in music form. And so there's a lot of correlation between different events that took have, have taken place in American history and the tunes that were played at the time, and new tunes that came about because of events, uh, Civil War being one major one, and uh, a lot of tunes came out of actually after World War I also, so it was flourishing into the 20th century. 